It's a Tuesday morning. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. It's so good to be in your company. Now, this Women's Month, we've looked at women who are positive role models for change in our society. Women who are empowering other women and are breaking glass ceilings. But for our latest parenting segment this morning, we're taking things to the grassroots level and talking about the impact and importance of having a mother in the household. And more so when it comes to the relationship between a mother and daughter and family therapy and registered social worker Kim Abrams joins us this morning to talk about this very, very important topic. Always great to Thank have you, you on the couch to be, to be talking about these heartwarming and certainly very, very important mm -hmm. um, issues. And the mother-daughter relationship, um, one that certainly can be contrasted or maybe juxtaposed with the father-son uh, relationship. But what, what would you say makes the mother-daughter relationship so special? It's such a special relationship, I think, because you're primarily bonded with your mother before you even enter the world. Yeah. So if you think about it, you know, that relationship starts before you've even opened your eyes. And for me, I think this is the relationship that sets the tone for every other relationship that a, a girl will have. Yeah, yeah. Because your mother teaches you how to be a woman. She teaches you how to think about yourself in society, what role you play, um, your self-confidence. So in that way, this, this relationship needs to be nurtured because, like I say, it sets the tone. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and you always get the, the saying, daddy's little girl. Mm, yeah. so, so how would you say it essentially differs from the impact that a father has on a daughter in the father-daughter relationship? I mean, we love dads. We're seeing dads play such a more active role in their daughter's lives now. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to also not look as the, at the dad as just the second adult in the home. Yeah. Dads, you know, can and should play an equal part. Mm -hmm. But it the relationship between a father and a daughter is quite significantly different in that the father will set the tone for how the, the girl will grow up to, in, to know how to interact with men. Yeah, yeah. So in that way, you know, if you've got a father who's respecting the daughter and the daughter's mother, mm -hmm. that child will grow up knowing that they deserve good treatment from men. So it's actually quite a powerful role that dads can play in their daughter's lives. Yeah. Now, stepping back into the focus of this morning, which is the mother-daughter relationship, how do we best nurture that relationship and also what are the long-term benefits for a daughter who is in a very good mother-daughter relationship? So it's important to see your daughter as a unique individual mm -hmm. and as someone who's entirely their own personality with their own quirks and traits and not an extension of you as so. a mother. Yeah, so this relationship we want to nurture it because you know we want girls to grow up having good self-confidence. We want them to have good morals and values and know where they stand and what their rights are mm -hmm. um, and how they should engage with adults around them. So this relationship, we really want to nurture that bond so that the girl also knows you know, what it means to be a woman. Um, as they go through life and developmental changes, it's often the mom who the girl will turn to for mm -hmm. advice and support because there's often the, the relational um, similarities. Yeah, yeah. So we want to nurture this relationship so it, it can sustain the child as she grows up. Yeah, and I guess the long-term benefits uh, go for uh, not just the girl child themselves, but also in their extension into the community as well because right. they are in having that good relationship able to empower other women and exactly. help that notion to grow. It's a ripple effect. Absolutely. Yeah. So what, what tips do you have then? What tricks do you have? Because it, it can be a tricky one. Yeah, um, this is a, it can be very, <laughs> given very Given the personality hard. differences that you, that you were highlighting mm -hmm. early on, talking about how um, a mother could adversely affect the, do the girl child by making them an extension or perceiving mm. them as an extension of themselves. So there they can be differences and it can be quite tricky. So what Absolutely. advice do you have? So a good tip, I think, is to set a consistent intention to have one-to-one -one time with your daughter. Mm -hmm. You know, start it from a young age yeah. so that as your daughter develops and she reaches her adolescence, it's easier to sustain that relationship because you've already set the tone that you are important to me, our relationship wow. is important. Yes. Um, also, so I think it's important for mothers to just do a self-inventory and think about what they are presenting to their daughter. Mm -hmm. what, what do you see yourself as as a woman if you're a mother? What messages are you giving to your daughter about body image, um, about interacting with other women? Mm -hmm. You know, what are you saying about other women? Because these are all things that your child will internalize and come to know as normal. Yeah. So definitely quality time is the, is the thing that sets the bond yeah. and it opens up the lines of communication. Yeah. So that's, that's a tip that I 
can't stress enough. Yeah, and a surefire way of building and growing uh, a well-balanced relationship between every, anybody, mm. in fact. Kim, thank you very much. We're going to ask you to stay a little bit longer Thanks. to continue the conversation yeah. a little bit later on. And uh, do fire through some questions if you might have them on Expresso Morning Show SABC3. That's on Facebook as we express. It's my feel-good birthday show. Day on Thursday. Yeah. On Thursday, so happy birthday for, for Thursday, Kim. Oh, uh, of course, uh, Kim is our friend when it comes to all things uh, around family and parenting advice. And earlier on, we were touching on the importance of the mother-daughter relationship, especially in light of Women's Month and how to best nurture this relationship and how it uh, finally contributes towards the girl child and her involvement in society, how she views herself. So maybe we could maybe expand a little bit more on what a healthy mother-daughter relationship looks mm. like. So it's also important, I suppose, to think about that um, having a mother can come in various forms. Yeah. It doesn't have to just be from your biological mom. You know, Very grandmothers true. and aunties can all play a pivotal, pivotal role. But one thing that is really important when it stands, when we're looking at a healthy mother and daughter relationship, is for a mother particularly to remember that your priority is to parent first and then become your daughter's friend. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this, you know, if you can parent your daughter and instill that that type of that role towards her it becomes easier to put discipline in place um, and to navigate to help her navigate all the develop developmental changes she will go through yeah um, it's a, also a relationship that's got mutual respect but with that the tone is very much set by the mother so it's it's just I think very very important to know that when your daughter reaches the teenage years it will become difficult it's kind of expected yeah <laughs> yeah but you know there is a turnaround were you a difficult period. teenager I, I wasn't I was actually really good <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's 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 rare yeah. but you know girls do come back around um, to to their moms yeah. um, even though there's a difficult period so it's just important to remember your role as parent first and then friend yeah. and that will sustain a healthy relationship okay when we look at the other parent involved uh, the father mm. uh, or perhaps somebody who stands as, as a husband in a family unit what would you say of, of them and being involved in maintaining or helping to improve the mother-daughter relationship is that th is that something uh, they should do or completely mm. stay away and allow that to kind of go go forth as it will no I think it's important for dads to play an active role um, regardless I think you know when it comes to relationship dynamics and family dynamics everybody has a duty mm -hmm. to make sure that that, there's, that people are getting along well, as best as possible. Mm -hmm. So we want dads to be involved. We don't want dads just to feel like the second parent in the household. Dads will automatically impact the mother-daughter relationship, whether they intend to or not. Yeah. So you know how the father is treating the daughter's mother will play a significant role and how the father treats the daughter will also play a significant role. Mm -hmm. So just like you know, we say to mothers, set a clear intention to have one-to-one -one time with your child, it's very much the same with the father. Yeah. Set a clear intention for your daughter so that when the difficulties do arise, you've already got an established bond. Yeah. It makes it easier to deal with relationship breakdowns. Yeah. Listen, this is something that we could talk about for mm. hours on end, but I have to ask you for some final words of advice with regard to this mother-daughter relationship that we've been talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's such a special, such a special relationship. And I think the most important thing is to cherish it. You know, moms aren't here forever. We don't have them here indefinitely. Um, so it's important to honor that, you know, if you're a a, a young girl or a woman mm -hmm. um, and the same for mothers you know you can't replace your daughter so whilst you have each other around nurture that relationship spend time with one another because quality time is what's going to sustain a good relationship absolutely and it's been wonderful spending some quality time Aww. with you Kim Lovely. and as I said once again Thank happy you. birthday for Thursday Thanks. we hope that you found that conversation very enlightening do share your thoughts with us on our Facebook page Expresso Morning Show SABC3 and if you'd like to engage with Kim a little bit more after this you can find her on your website Kim Abrams.com.